tough afternoon today here at Maryland Stadium in College Park where the number one Albany Great Danes take down our Terps. 11 to 10, Bruce, Maryland had a big lead there for a minute. Yeah, I think that's, that's what's upsetting. Not the fact that they lost, you're gonna lose once in a while, but the fact you're eight to three up at home and then the fourth quarter, Wayne, we could smell it, watching it. You just, you're not winning the face-offs, you're not stopping them from scoring, and uh, they're a great team. And we even get touched by Nanticoke today, which is unbelievable. No, Connor, it was all Connor Fields, but we know that. And Kelly had a good game, but yeah. Maryland just could not get over the top. It was too many well, mistakes. There were. When not Maryland, enough finishes. But you know what? If they're number one, we lost to them by a goal. We'll be number two. Got a tough game next week. You got to forget about it. That's all. Well, we talked about this for weeks on the air on both Turp Talk and the Sports Maven. This is Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C., Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301. 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Look, it said sooner or later they're going to get us because they are really good. I picked today to be the day. Said it was probably worth the goal to Maryland to be at home. Albany brought a lot of people, but there was an actual I, I, war to the crowd today. I don't think, you know, Albany won, but I, I'm not so sure how much they outplayed the Terps. They just won. At the end of the game, it was 11 to 10. Something else happened that never happens. Maryland's up 10 to 6 going in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. And they lose. It doesn't happen. Look, Albany must have gone 20 minutes between goals. It was eight to three, so it was eight to four, and Albany hadn't scored since before halftime. This was the middle of the third, so it was a strange game. But when Maryland needed a faceoff, when the game was in doubt, to they be did fair, get it. they didn't get it. Well, they did T get it. T Erlen, no, no, no. Uh, when it was ten to ten, did they win the faceoff and not score? I, I thought that at that point that Erlen won. Whatever. Won. All right, I'll lost. go with a whatever. Look. You can't pin this game on faceoffs because Shockey did a great job. This is TD Erland. Shockey might have lost uh, 13 to 10. Would you have taken that before the Absolutely. game? Absolutely. You would have taken probably yeah. 15 to 7. I would have taken the whole game, just not the score. Because yeah. when it got down but, the end of it, Albany was extremely efficient. But my point is, they were up 8 to 3 at home. It doesn't happen, man. It just doesn't happen. No. But it happened today. That's why Tillman was so upset afterwards, and uh, rightly so. But uh, we got to take a second and pay tribute as Bubba Fairman. Keep it up. We'll be fine. We'll be <laughs> fine. Uh, UMBC, got to give them ups. I mean, going to the dance. They go to Vermont. They beat the Catamounts last second 23 times they have lost to them in a row. 23 and times. We went to the, to the home game when they it played Vermont. It was embarrassing Vermont. when they played Vermont. It was embarrassing. Well. But give them credit. Jerry is Styles. Hit a three. It was set up. Coach didn't call a timeout with 18 seconds left. Put up the shot with two. Went in with a half a second left. Mm -hmm. And they're going to the dance. They're going. So uh, there is an area team that is going to That's the it. NCAA tournament. But uh, we're going to go in and catch the press conference as uh, Terps still streaming on and off the field. There's your faceoff guy. Had a pretty good day. I had a great day. Had, for a freshman, are you kidding me? He had a great day against uh, arguably the first or second best uh Face-off man. Baptiste and, and Erlen. And here goes uh, Danny Morris walking Danny off. Danny Morris was spectacular. Right. So we've been trying to end this for 30 seconds. We'll go ahead and end it. For Bruce Posner, this is Wayne Who's Viner. the sponsor, Wayne? Come on. Oh, Viner Four Gates. What's wrong with Ford? you? We lost. I'm a bit discombobulated. You can't be like that. All right. Dan Morris. Get him you. next week, Danny. All right. We will see you at the press conference. All right. Good afternoon.